Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Playframe and the case of the very bad boat. Ahoy! Welcome all of you back to the bad boat. We're going to solve a mystery, and we're going to go through this door. Actually, before we even do that, uh, we were refreshing a little bit by yeah. uh, flipping back through the uh, the book, and we decided, uh, as we started reading a couple terms in the glossary, we realized all of these are pretty short, and there's only these two pages of them. Let's go ahead and do that on camera for everybody's sake, so we all have the same information. Most of it's kind of obvious, but... So tell me, yep. what is a captain? What is a captain? I don't know. People have been asking for generations. Uh, and finally, we have an answer. Philosophers believe that, okay, the head <laughs> officer in command of the ship, responsible for directing the other officers and ensuring the success and safety of the ship's voyage. Oxford's Dictionary defines a captain <laughs> as... <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, the mate, officer or tradesman that supports and assists their superior. General mates help to run the ship and serve as the cap at the captain's request. Tradesmen mates serve their supervisor. Huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, like, the bosun's mate serves the bosun. Yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, or bosun, yeah. sorry. Uh, bosun, yeah. Either, listen, we're the only ones on bosun. this boat. Who's going to correct us? Uh, <laughs> Me, I'm going to correct you okay. and myself. Okay. It's bosun. <laughs> uh, the foreman in charge of general crew operations and the equipment required to sail the ship. Okay. Uh, gunner. Military officer in charge of weapons and military procedures on the ship. I'm going to be willing to bet the guy who keeps running up... Um, the guy who was on deck during the squid attack, who was like charging up the uh, the stairs with like arms full of muskets, and then at the end was firing oh. two of them. I'm gonna guess that's the gunner. Might be. <laughs> Might yeah. be wrong, but it's like if I had to guess who was the gunner right now, that's who I'd pick. <laughs> uh, the purser. Administrative official, accounts for all cargo value and trade transactions, manages a small item store for the crew. So, okay, purser makes sense to me. Like, purse, right? coins, money, selling, all makes sense. Where does the word burser come from? Because they have a very similar role mm. in terms of, like, running accounts. But what the heck is a burse? I know what a purse is. <laughs> Non-joke answer. I'm guessing this is like one of those things where like the English just shifted slightly like a letter just kind of changed over time from you one think? to the other. I could see it being that sort of thing. I will be checking the etymology of that later. Yeah, I'm very curious. Uh, surgeon. The ship's doctor in charge of crew health. Capable of general care and medical procedures as required. I have a few notes hmm. for the surgeon. Yeah. Given that our crew's health seems to be somewhat subpar. Yeah, bad surgeon. <laughs> Carpenter, tradesman responsible for maintaining the integrity of the ship's wooden structures. That makes sense. Uh, you know, Carpenter, there are some failings on your part too. Yeah, listen, we don't need to. We don't mean to point fingers, but all of you are to blame. <laughs> Helmsman, rated seaman in control of the ship's wheel and general moment-to-moment -moment navigation. All right. I'm wondering if that guy. I can't remember which which scene he was even in, but we saw someone with his hand on the wheel. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like your gunner supposition i'm guessing that's the helmsman because yeah. i would think if you don't know what you're doing with a ship's wheel that you would be very well trained to not touch it i would think so or at the very least it would seem like a kind of an insult like if i was the helmsman and someone else decided to pose in the photo at the helm i'd be like dude come on that's it's my it's my that's entire mine. thing it's my only the, job on this boat it's my whole deal <laughs> i called it uh <laughs> yeah. steward Servant to an officer or higher rated crew member performing general duties for the comfort of their employer. You called it just like the gunner. Yeah. When everybody was getting on board, he was the first one to scream out, Shotgun! <laughs> okay, that was a good joke. <laughs> Very good joke. Okay. Um, I, did I just read this one? Midshipman, officer in training, assists various officers and tradesmen in order to learn ship operations, usually of privileged status. Okay. Mm -hmm. Topman, a higher-rated seaman uh, specializing in work above the deck in the sails and rigging. Now, I'm going to guess that Knife Man is a Topman because he's so comfortable with climbing around the rigging. Yeah, like in every single scene, he is climbing on something as if, like, the ship deck was hot lava. <laughs> and that's just a game he's playing to keep himself entertained on the boat. Normal boating is too easy for him. <laughs> he likes to challenge himself yep. by not actually stepping foot on any deck. That's how you make Topman. That's how you make Topman. <laughs> Real go-getter. 
uh, seaman, a low-level crew member responsible for general manual labor on and below deck. This actually, this reminds me. Some folk, some of you have given some very helpful tips in the comments uh, for the previous episodes about how like some of the mechanics oh, of this yeah. game work, and I appreciate that. Uh, one of the things you said was that um, the game is very lenient and generous when it comes to mm -hmm. how like cause of death. So the person uh, uh, Abigail could have like both clubbed by squid or struck by rigging or whatever. Crushed both by rigging. Crushed by rigging. Both are counted as correct by the game. Yeah. So that's good to know. That's That way we can stop agonizing it over it quite so much. In the vein of things that we have learned from the comments in the past little bit, um, the manifest, our unknown passengers, yeah. aren't actually unknown passengers. Wait, aren't they? No. Are they the animals? In in the list where it says unknown, uh -huh. that's not a person. That's a a placeholder for us to use. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Which which that like that I knew because like they all start as unknown. What I no didn't... no 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 huh. in the manifest when we're looking at all of the numbers, the people, and their list of names. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Let's the crew. Yeah. Let's just look at it. So when we're picking who did what. Uh huh. There are categories that say unknown officer, unknown passenger, unknown shipman, or unknown topsman. Mm. And when we were playing last, we theorized that that meant there were unknown persons on the boat who weren't on the manifest because they joined the ship after it had first set sail. We're oh. totally incorrect. Those are just empty slot categories for us to say we don't know this person's name but we know they're an officer i see so, okay yeah that, that that had confused me then i uh, yeah i'll i'll show you more when we actually yeah yeah get when, into when, it please do when we come to that point because I, I still feel a little bit confused on that on that one thing that i'm also a little confused on and some of you may have actually already corrected this in a previous episode so apologies if that's the case um whenever we get to the end of a chapter mm -hmm. uh and let me find one like one we've actually completed. Whenever we get to the end of a chapter, we are shown those uh, tick marks. Yeah, the tick marks at the end. The there's like a number of that's at the start. Uh, there's a number of X's and a number of slashes. There. My assumption was that these represented all of the characters we encounter in this chapter, and that X's are ones who are dead. Slashes are either unknown or are like either unknown or disappeared or something. Is that right? Am I am I guessing that yeah, right? What even are those X's and slashes? What does that mean? Because I'm because my guess still is the X's are those in this chapter a number of deaths versus slashes ones who are like disappeared. Shown but survived? Or maybe not even survived, just ones like disappearances, because this chapter especially has a lot of disappearances. Uh like all these people who could all be the slash, let, be marked how as slashes many, in that thing. How many so, slashes are there? Uh, let's see. So there's seven there people here. Let's see how many slashes there were. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That might be actually what it is. It might be. That's I don't know. Possible, but yeah. Can, can you confirm or deny that for us, comments? Because uh, I'm not 100 percent sure yet, and that seems like it could be useful knowledge. And other than that, please, please remember no spoilers. Yeah, that too. I Thank you. I have seen things. <laughs> I've seen one or two things. I've deleted one or two things in the comments and will do so again if I see anything that is just either an outright spoiler or a spoiler that is not hidden well enough. <laughs> so don't ruin it. Yeah, no, I, I'm being ve very strict on this one because, <laughs> again, this game, spoilers for this game are poison. So Yeah, I have never read the comments with my eyes like half focused before. <laughs> yeah. But I'm doing that to try and avoid spoilers. Yeah, but most of you have been like extremely courteous and good about oh, this. So yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thumbs up. You're doing I'm, you're doing great. Uh, and I'm this sorry. is a blast. I don't think anyone has been outright like, here's a spoiler. It's always <laughs> been like little bits where maybe there's a bit too much information there and I'm like, oh no, what yeah. did I just read? Like no one's but, dropping in with like, it was Professor Plum with a candlestick or whatever, but like they're... <gasps> Daniel, how could you? Yeah, sorry, he was the topman. I was really looking forward to this whole game mm -hmm. and you just cracked it wide open. That's true. We haven't r found Man, where the candlestick is yet. I guess there's still some mysteries left. Or the lounge. Hmm. Anyway, rigging. <laughs> the network of ropes and chains supporting the masts that, and used for working the sails, okay? Uh, main deck, top deck of the ship exposed to the weather. Gun deck, the deck carrying the ship's guns and lined with portals for their firing. Orlop deck, mid deck above the lowest deck containing storage, cabins, animal pins, and the ship's steering tiller. This is where we are now. Yes. So let's uh, stop stalling and get in this oh. door. Huh? 
I had a question before we went in the door. I'm so eager to grab the door. Oh. But, okay, what's the question? There's a little hallway if you walk towards the banister. Uh, this yep. way? Okay. And then turn left. Left. And then straight. And then... Ooh. Yeah. Neat. I want to see it. Okay, let's go down the hallway. I just want to see... Can we get a look inside the room? We can't. Oh, boy. Oh, creepy. So, I don't know if we could, we'll be able to get in wait, all of wait, these rooms. Is there one on the other side? Oh, we can get into all these rooms. Oh, okay. Um, is there a peekaboo on the other side, too? Good question, <gasps> yes. Ooh, let's peekaboo into the rooms. Wait a minute. There's a body back here. Ooh. We've peekabooed very well. Yaddy, 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 yaddy. Possibly two bodies. No, just I... one. Just one. Okay. Okay. But before we dive into that, let's let's take uh, take stock of the place here and see how many doors we can just outright open, because maybe it's a bunch of them now. Yeah. Uh, and maybe my peekaboo is not useful. I just... Because now we're just looking into the space we just were. Right, right. Why is that there's there? There's blood here. Well, and there's a body at the end of the hallway. <laughs> true, but like the body, the blood trail, well, it didn't entirely stop. There's another drip or two, yeah. maybe. But, uh, yeah. Okay, anyway, let's uh, scope it out some more. I, I am curious as to the function of those view slots and that hallway. I guess maybe when the ship is super packed out. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I would not feel comfortable sleeping in a room with a peephole. I might not either. Maybe it's good for I don't air? like it in hotel rooms when it's a yeah the little eye hole thingy. They freak me out. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder why that is. But. Okay. Uh, overturned chair. Yeah, an overturned Everything chair. Everything looks pretty very nice. Much it seems nice, like a pretty yeah. nice quarters to have on the boat, honestly. Mm hmm. Um, okay. Looks like we can just go into all these rooms, so why not? What what are these what are these rooms? What are Let they? me um these might be the passenger berth. That might be exactly what that is, yeah. Uh um or Cursor's the office surgery? is where I'm about to go in. Sur oh yeah, this is the surgery room, that I guess. That explains so, why there's a wash base. Oh then. yeah, okay. So yeah, this is yeah. They're not they're not um Passengers don't get rooms, they get yeah. this near the livestock. <laughs> I mean the gunner yeah. store is down here, too. And the carpenter shop. Okay, there's a lot to check out. So, is the surgery where we saw um, Sayed ill before he died? I want to say yes. I yeah. remember he was on a bed, and I asked whose bed he was on. I believe yes, because then there was, that, a, there was someone yeah, sitting there was chill a guy back sitting there. In the chair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this is where he was. Yes. And then... Renfred, I think his name was. His friend died in in his hammock. Yes. All right. So this is the purser's office. Okay. Money. Let's right. get the money, though. Or I'm not here to rob the boat. Oh, right. <laughs> but we could be pirates. That's true. Listen, you can become a pirate anytime you want to. There's no laws. That's the whole point. There's no, there are laws. That's the whole point. Oh. <laughs> you have to break them to become a pirate. That's a matter of perspective, I think. <laughs> uh, all right, carpentry tools. room. Ooh, so many tools. A lot of good tools in here. Fancy. All right. I guess you would need that. I mean, on a boat. Boat surgeon. If something goes... Boat surgeon? Yeah. Yes. Uh, and the armory. And the armory, cool. yeah. All right. I have questions about how boats work. What? Well, ooh, there's huh. a little glass case. That's kind of cute. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's like a little lantern. This is the powder room. You don't keep oh. lit lanterns in the powder room. That makes sense. I love... Yes. That's great. Yes, yes, yes. I love it. So what are those ropes? What are these ropes? They Might remind this be part me. of the anchor? I bet this is part of the anchor. Ooh, that makes... that. That would make sense, I think. What, is it, what are they attached what to? What do they attach to? They go to down them? below. Okay. So they remind me of the cable anchors for, um, oh, what are they called? Not chair lifts, but like, there's one that goes up Grouse Mountain in Vancouver. We rode uh, it. Uh, gondolas? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they remind me of the anchor at the base that, that gets sunk really deep in to anchor the cables for a gondola. Oh, okay. There's one at Grouse Mountain that we yeah, yeah. saw. Um, I just realized the blood trail starts back here and kind of starts leading us slowly back here. Okay. And so where does, a, it, where does it start? Uh, I think it started right at the... Um, 
right around this corner, basically, here. I think that's the first uh, little spot here okay. that I can detect. Uh, maybe we can poke our head in here just to see if there's mm -hmm. anything on the floor, but I don't don't think no, so. Doesn't no, doesn't look like it. I think, yeah, I think this is where it started, which is okay. handily leading us just from all of this. Yeah, uh, maybe so. whatever caused that created this as well. Yeah. Kaylee reached out. Kaylee's sitting on my lap, and she just like reached her front paw out and rested it gently on my hand. Aww. And I'm, I'm almost as dead as this sailor. Yeah, we've been going for a long time without investigating a death. Someone shoot someone already. Oh come on! It's only been a few minutes. Shoot the damn thing! Eee. Huh. The damn thing. What thing? I don't know, but I think this person got shot by mistake. What? What? <laughs> That's a crab, I think. Uh, one, two... Of sorts? Wait, could you hold still? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? I feel like I just counted nine legs, which doesn't seem like a normal number. In my opinion, whoever labeled this chapter bitter cold kind of buried the lead. <laughs> <laughs> Might have done, yeah. Who are you? Okay, it's someone I don't know. All right. Okay, now. Well, congratulations on dying in one of the to one of the cooler things that's happened on this boat. I mean, that's not super cool. It sure just looks like you were shot. By mistake. I think it's that thing. Well, it could be that that was a shot. I think that might be the, like the crab thing's leg, like, like, spearing through, through the wall, possibly. I oh, we're the, in a different chapter now. Okay. I think the crab's too far away. Do you underestimate our crab? <laughs> I might. Soldiers of the sea. All right. This is before the squid. Boy. In the this boat, cat can't break. Oh, the hidden the hidden corridors are called. Probably the port and starboard, star starboard starboard walks. Yeah, port and starboard walk. Um, cool. Don't know who this is, and we will check on how they died. Uh, I mean, eleven yeah. others present. Okie dokie. Let's. Uh, whoop. Are you telling me that one of these eleven others died? How hard to believe is that? Oh, game! Come on. You're not going to oh. let me go to the other side. Oh, we have to watch through the little... Mean. All right, there's you. I guess I understand mechanically why the peepholes are there for the gameplay. Yeah. But for the ship, why are they there? Holy heck, that thing looks weird. Yeah, it does. I don't I like it. I believe you're correct about... That's just like a spider or something. I mean, but that's I, what I think, a crab is. I guess you're right. Uh... It, it, they're not spiders, but they're related. Um, what if spiders were delicious? Try crabs. Uh, so the, I believe uh, you're right that this is the the shot. Can you please is, unsay the last thing you just said about spiders being delicious? Impossible. I believe you're right though that that is a, the gunshot being fired uh, is either missing or just passing yeah, through. You and, can see it like yeah. pass right underneath the yep, yep, crab's yep, yep, yep. body. Shot by. The, who is Spider this? crab? Who is this? Can I, do I, gotta um, go all the, I can't go all the way around. Oh. But I may be able to, th using a, uh, a different memory, I might be able to get a sense for like where... A different memory might let me closer to this character and if we can mm. identify them. All right, but... They look familiar. They do. I agree. Also, there's something not right seeming about the spider crab's body. I agree also. It looks with like that. it's getting exploded. Somebody's shot did hit. Something there looks very Must have, weird. Yeah, or, yeah, there's a lot to a lot to take in here. Who are you? You're about first mate, I wanna say? Mm, no. One first mate was Martin. That's second mate, I think. Oh, okay. Martin's on the other side of the captain. I see. Uh and he's then, one of the few people I can remember, please. There's oh, you. it's Top Hatman. Top Hat. And... Cap. Uh, Cap dies yeah. in the um, mutiny. Uh, yes, yes, right you are. Cap uh, and is might the... here be the... Uh, might be the person, the gunnery person. 
Might be, yeah. Because you're in here in this in the space. It's not necessarily the gunner who ran into the armory to grab things in the midst of this crab attack. <laughs> I want to say crabitat, which is neither here nor there, but a fun word nonetheless. <laughs> this is a terrible crabitat. Yeah, this is definitely. <laughs> this crab could not half li- happily live in the hold. Oh no! Okay, oh, I think I found our next one. Stop that. Okay. Let's see. Tell me when you're done looking at this particular person with their head at this particular angle. Sure. Uh. Yeah, we don't know who they are yet either. Lots of folks around. Um. Uh, Okay, this is I why think... I don't like peepholes, because people <laughs> with their necks at very bad angles tend to be looking through them. <laughs> In it's horror. not been my experience, but... Uh, uh, all right, well, I'll go... It's probably that person whose death we're investigating next, so... Let's see. All right. Lead on smoke <laughs> death smoke yeah I don't know if I've just watched too many like where are you going horror things or smoke, read too many horror doing? mangas or something it just ugh alright his neck was broken but he was also stabbed it through. It looks like it could be, I think it might also just be... <gasps> he like, got a crap stab. Yeah, no, he got stab, stabbed by something. I think his neck is just sort of limp because he's dead. Yeah. But uh, let's see. It could be broken too. That's true. You can be two things. Por que no lo estos? I've got you. Don't move. I'll get you down. Oh, oh. Huh. Um. What? <laughs> yeah, hard to... Why has he been... What? So they... Oh, he didn't die until after they had killed this thing. This one might have already actually been... You think it was a multi-crab attack? There might have been two crabs, actually. Oh, no. One crab is bad enough, but if you get two crabs, like, you definitely have baby crabs somewhere, right? There's no question. Hmm. There are more somewhere. Is this a crab you pine? Cork you crab? There's something interesting here. Like, it seems like it's... Spiny. It is spiny, and it seems like it's those same spines that have... Yes. Uh, it's like, gotten this one here. Yeah. Cork you crab. Yeah, interesting. Spiny crab? What are you... What are you getting here? Oh, what is that? What are those called? Not crustaceans. Sea urchin? Uh, yeah. You know, they have spines, they right? They do, yeah, yeah. This is definitely a monster of a sort. Uh, but hey, you, is this just Lovecraft? I mean, kind of a little. Seems a little. I mean, I guess Lovecraft wasn't the first person to think of like, hey, that sea, it looks like it has monsters in it. But, um... He sure wasn't. Nah. So, this will take some creativity. Uh, Stabbed? Sp- spiked? spiked? Spiked. By a terrible beast, yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, took less creativity than I thought. Yeah, that was actually a lot easier than I expected. Okay. Is that the gentleman who was part of killing the cow? Because I think it was. Two memories. Other one being uh, perished in Soldiers of the Sea. Part six. Show memories on deck. Me- depicted in underway sketch. First memory. First memory. Should be the cow one. Uh. Yep. Yes. Right you are. Right, you are. I'm suspecting with his with his um, apron that he might be something to do with chef. Yeah, that could be. Yeah. Okay. So let's just let's take stock of what we've got in here. We got okay. you. Uh, you're the guy who later kills Lars Lindy. Oh. Uh, is that one of the brothers? Yes, Nathan I believe and so. Samuel. I don't remember the names, but yeah, that, I believe that is one of the brothers. Uh, you're new. You're Wait. top. No, you're not. You're. Yeah, that's Top Hatsman. Is that Top Hatsman? Yeah. Okay. Top Hatsman. I thought this was the guy who got uh, one of the Hatsman. mutiny guys, but maybe not. Oh, um, you might be right. Also, that person, I think, that you said is new, uh-huh. I think that person might be dies in lifeboat. Possibly. 
I think that's one of the lifeboat folks. You might but be right. I, I don't, I don't remember that portrait, but yeah, I could have just forgotten. There's a lot of characters now. I also have like low key face blindness and the portraits here do not make that any better. <laughs> yeah. Ew. All right. So you're probably the Friend. next person we're investigating. What are you doing here? Washing up the deck. I guess so. seems like maybe start with getting rid of the crab first, then clean up. But yeah, uh, maybe the crab is allergic to water. <laughs> Uh, I gonna... have an idea. <laughs> I have solved the mystery. It's clearly the only answer. <laughs> uh, you are, are tired. Yeah, and familiar, but I don't entirely recognize you. Okay. All right. There's some blood drips going back this direction. This direction, yeah. And I know it cuts off, but like something's up, right? Yes. Something's up back there. Yeah. Um... What is falling over between uh, Top Hatsman and there's like something in the air between them? Something in the air between them. What's that? What is Top Hatsman holding? Uh, I don't know. Like this looks like a, it's a tool of some sort. It looks like it, a digging sort of digging? thing. Like you grab both sides of it and, oh wait, hang on. Not like digging necessarily, but it's. I'm thinking maybe it's some kind of musket or possibly gun. Actually, yeah, now that I look closer at it, yeah, that's a or like a flare or that's a gun of some sort. That shoots something. It sure looks like it. Interesting. And that guy's grabbing for it, like desperately, which seems yeah. weird. And holding his side as well. Okay. And anything else out here to see? Ooh. Uh, there's this... Blood trail who, from... There's a spike. There's a spike. And another so body. This is our friend who's about to die back here, isn't it? I think so, but like... He got shot like over here, though, I thought. Unless... He's already injured. But then he got shot... Afterwards, Maybe so. Yeah, well, the continuity of this is a little fuzzy. We're going to have to... Keep digging into it. I think so. Yeah. Maybe, please, not on the desk. But that's just where the keyboard is. I know, that's pretty no. She's trying to help. <sighs> You're trying to get down into there. Yeah, getting down into the hold. Okay, well, well let's see what's next. Uh, and see if we can get a bit more of a bigger picture, because there's a very, very big crabby picture. <laughs> to take in here. Okay, you are next. Uh, all right. Explain yourself. Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm failing at the time progression of this particular set of events. Taking some real creative license here, Smoke. Well, you know, <laughs> sn Smoke isn't very good at cornering, so... <laughs> Smoke is like, no, I, I, I know where it is. I, <laughs> just give me a second. I remember. Oh. <laughs> it was just around somewhere around here. Oh, and the crap. I is was wondering if we were going to get to see the beast's death at all. Interesting. I wonder. Well. This appears to be the death of the big crab. There's also the guy, too. Oh, I wonder. It, yes, the guy is there, too, but the smoke filled out the space that was the crab's body. That's a good point. All right. Well, let's let's find out. Maybe they died together in a sweet embrace or something. That sounded electrical. That's fire. I don't know how much electricity they had on a boat. Yeah, back then. I don't either, but. But that's fire. Just what, I don't know what all that bzz, Like maybe the crab itself was electrical. Sure. Was, yeah, like who knows? So there's, yeah, so this is fire. I see nothing electrical on board or part of this world. Uh, I I don't know. I don't either. I'm just, I, uh... Man. So I know they had to put out the fire, right? It's a boat. Uh, and, so that and that explains the, and that uh, the water. that explains the water. But yeah, yeah. They could have had crab legs. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's true. Um, Long-term thinking, folks. Come on. Big picture. Something there has lots of frilly strands. 
Yeah, I've been noticing that too. And like, I'm, and it's just those sorts of cues that are making me wonder, like, how much, like, how otherworldly, like, what sort of weird things this crab can do. Like, if it can generate just sort of some elect weird electricity of its own sort of thing, mm -hmm. and that somehow managed to kick off the fire. That's probably a, a stretch. I just, I just don't know what that sound was. Uh, looks like burned. Yeah. But. Huh. Let me let me snoop around here. I can't here. even see that person's body clearly, but so there the sword doesn't look I like. I don't know it's, if it's getting bitten. Is that a mouth? I don't. Th it looks to me like it is. Kind of, he just like jumped on the thing, but it. Is I also the see something throwing its grass skirt on him. What? What is that weird fibrous stringy stuff? Yeah, it's really hard to tell. Uh, he has been stabbed by one of the things. The crab has been the stabbed. The crab's being stabbed by the sword. This guy who's attached to it and burning has uh, also yes. been He's got punctured a by a thing. Which I don't know if that's still attached to the crab or if that just happened on its own. No, it looks like it's happened on its own. It seems the like. The attached to the crab seem to be at that particular end of the crab. Yeah. And it seems like it shoots them porcupine style. Alright, there is only one. There is only one crab, seems like. Seems okay. well... <laughs> They're still focused on something over here, so maybe not. Okay. Yuck. All right. There's a couple dead here. Uh. Oof. There's a lot to unpack in this. Uh huh. Okay. Is it fire blood flammable? The. Because the fire is following its blood, yeah. almost like kerosene. Yeah, I wonder. This is very interesting. Yeah, this one's challenging. <laughs> hmm. uh, I'm going to say fire. Sure. But it seems like there's several probably good options on this one. Yeah. Uh... I mean, burned. We, we could probably call it stabbed by terrible beast. We could. Yeah. yeah. Or speared by terrible beast, whatever that was. Probably could be a lot of things, yeah. There's the first person that we came upon with this crab incident. Yeah, so okay, and so they he still, had, their way still punctured the with a spike. Crawled, got the spike out, and just kept on walking. The, the gunshot victim maybe that was earlier Heck. no no the gunshot victim was stabbed crawled down this hall hallway stood up and then got shot i guess so did the crab get back up no i don't think so because the guy shot the, a walking standing crab yeah and, and i think there's another crab coming i, I guess think you're right there there just the other crab back. yeah you're right okay yeah oh, boy okay this one's gonna, yeah this one's gonna be challenging to uh unravel i feel like uh, and we did see. Remember in the in Broken Neck Guy's death scene, uh -huh. I mentioned seeing something back in. Sorry, if you walk straight ahead, if you could, you know, to the back here, before it cut off right here, and we could just see a little bit of that blood spatter. Yeah. So. Yeah. And here comes him with whatever this whatever is. Whatever that gun was. Yeah. And is the guy stabbing at the crab? Yeah, I think he's managing to kill the crab with the stabbing mo motion. But uh, is the guy stabbing it the person who later is reaching for the gun? That's a good question. I don't know. Or is know. that different? That is a good... Yeah. I think it's a different person. Okay. Where's the guy who reaches for the gun? I think that might be him up here. Coming down the steps? Yeah. yeah. Yep, yep, still holding yeah. the side. Okay. And uh, there's you also. You're... Okay, you're the guy okay. who kills Lars. Um, uh, we've got... A lot of people involved in this. Where is Broken Neck Guy? Uh, I'm really not sure if his neck is broken, but I guess it doesn't matter it either doesn't way. It doesn't matter. We're just... Uh, <laughs> I just need something yeah. to call him. Yeah, yeah, here's him. Yeah, he's getting... Yeah, too, too many people are getting spiked to uh <laughs> to use that as a name. Yeah. This fire is really mystifying me. I'm wondering if he did like shoot a flare at the thing to set Maybe it on fire. Maybe he did. Yeah. 
Uh, so maybe just the weird... There may have been no electrical sound whatsoever. It might have just been, like... Fire sounds? Maybe. I'll have to listen to it again. It sounded weird. Whoever's getting burned has bravely chosen to, like, try and hold part of the crab still. Yeah. And or we're seeing, like, the crabs... But No, that doesn't make sense. No, I think you're right. Uh, I think the wispy, feathery thing must be at its head towards its mouth. I think... I think you're right. I think you're right. Maybe we'll get a better look at one of the crab things later, and that'll help mm -hmm. clarify some of this. Okay, who's next? Uh, you this way. Are we Both just of you, I do guess. The two of you, the way we did the crab and the dude. Yes. All right. Where are you going? Around. <laughs> You love your scenic roots. Just can't corner good enough. That's all. All right. Okay, so we've got shorts and... Yeah, shorts and... Suspenders. Yes, okay. Which is probably not going to be enough per for permanent nicknames, but like... For now. For now. That's the mood. Okay, I think what you heard was the cracking Might of a been. shell or legs. What on earth? Or necks. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Hi, I don't like it. That's terrifying. That's wild. Uh, it's not a crab you pine. It's like a human crab you pine. <laughs> yeah, this is quite a monster. Okay. Uh, it's horrible. And it's chopping off someone's head. Oh, he through that's he where the fire the came from. Through the lantern. Cool. Okay. All right. These you two got... are just being killed by the beast. Yep. Uh, Beheaded by beast. Oh yeah. Uh, you're doing your best. This thing is really has a whole lot to take in. I uh, don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, Y'all are trying to fight. What's go oh yeah, y'all are dealing with the other other crab thing, I guess. We'll find out. Uh Okay. Don't know who they are yet, but uh That one's decapitated Cow Killer by, by Cow Killer McSpender or Suspenders. Oh, is that him? <laughs> I think so. Okay. It says three memories, so. Oh, uh, yeah, let's check. And we had two before. Uh, First memory, oh. perished in soldiers. I might be wrong. I thought the first memory for Cow Killer was at page 18. Uh, in oh. surgeon's room. Okay. He was in there and present, I guess. He was probably the guy leaning back in the chair. Yeah, that might be. And you, uh... Also decapitated by beast. Terrible beast. Okay. Let's see here. Um, try to get a feel for this. I'm curious where Flare Gun is. Yeah. And now I'm less confident that, okay, this thing was just shooting. Yeah, it shoots spikes for sure. Interesting. A weird monster. Uh, I don't like it. Flinging spikes like this weird direction. Legs. I don't so this might not be a flare gun. It might be. It might just be a it's wild some kind shot, of like large shotgun, or just gun. shoots a big, like just a little mini cannon or something. Just who knows? But I'm not familiar with the weaponry from this era. Yeah, I mean, me either. Uh, Ow, yeah. Kaylee, your little claws—they're so sharp. Killed with oh, fire. Heck. Off lap. Ouch. You can sit. You can't stand and walk. And you Too are painful. sneaking off. Cause, oh, you're the guy who wanders off because you've been spiked. Uh, okay. All right. So you're... Going down under deck. It looks like, yeah. Or trying to open the thing. Is that Cap? Is is that the person with the cap that... Um, yeah, the mutiny Cap person. Yeah. There's more and... going on over here. Oh, yeah, like a handing out guns. So that might be our gunner. You are probably, I'm guessing, uh, top hat guy might be, yeah, our gunnery guy. Might be. Maybe. 
Not guaranteed, but that seems real likely. And just to double check, there's two folks with hats. There's this like, one's the one we've been calling Top Hat. Yes. This guy is different. This guy is different, yeah. But he is also one of the two mutineers. I believe so, yes. Perfect. Uh, And you are also, like, we've seen you around too, I think. Yeah, that face is familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. And there is more going on up, up. here. Oh, yep, that there dude, is another. Wait, the dude who is pointing the shotgun up is about to get spiked. Right, you are. That's the second mate person, I think. And he is... Or maybe he was just very nearly spiked. Oh, okay, yeah. Looks like it's about to miss, but very close. The one that's coming through the wall, I think is on a trajectory towards him? Could be, but it might be that it also stops here. Possibly. We can probably check later. That's true. To see if there's still a spike in the wall there. Okay, so there is another one but yeah, that's there's coming very down. Much... Oh. And it, it's holding like a weapon, like an actual lance harpoon thing too. This is a really yeah. intense freakish monster. I don't like it. It's super cool. At all. Super cool or not. Uh, I'm with these folks. All right. Someone else who was hide. hit. Uh, you. And you, I think, survived till later. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're I the guy. I think that's one of the lifeboat folks. You're. Might be wrong. You're, that's knife man. Yeah, uh, knife man. No, this is one of the guys, who, the guy who kills oh, Lars. Right. That's the guy who kills Lars. You are also killed by spikes. Okay. Uh, you're familiar, right? You. I don't remember him. Uh, he's one of the ones who was like marked as disappeared after mm. the squid. But uh. Hmm. Cool. Okay. Um. That looks like. Lots to take in in general, but I guess let's see Oof. what's next now. Sure. Uh, all right. Not a huge surprise. That'll work. There's so much yep. <laughs> with each of these to try and There's a lot to parse. deduce. Yeah. We're going to be revisiting those scenes a bunch, I expect, to try to, yeah. once we've got to some more info. Suss out the details. Yeah. For sure. Uh, Goodness. He made a good long... Oh, no. The smoke just made a good long distance. <laughs> I was going to say he wandered a good long distance from where he was. But... The smoke having a good old time. All right. Here we are. A demon. What's going on? Stay back. It's already on the neck. Hey! Come on, boss! No, get there! Hey! Cats! Ah! Oh. Alright. Someone yelling, come on, boss. So that's probably like the whoever's mate yelling, come on. Yeah. Uh, Nick died before this. We know that. Whoever right. Nick is, wherever Nick is. Right, so um, I'm guessing the next scene might be Nick. And the person... The person who whose death we're watching, I think, is the one who's saying, get down. Might be. Th this See? person might be saying, get Well, let's check. That's actually very easy. In the book, it'll mark who's, with the X, who's the one who's yelling, who's who's just died, so. Of these two individuals right here, yeah. whose death are we watching? Because they both have this, projectiles aimed at them. I think this is the one who's... Whose death we are watching, actually in. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what else is going on in here? Got... You here. A claw blocking a knife thrown. You're approaching. There's someone else back there. Uh, all right. How did they die? Spiked by terrible beast. Spiked beast. Okay. Okay. And who's talking? Uh, all right. So, yeah. Uh, what's going on? Stay back, it's already done for Nick. Come on, boss. No, get down. Hey, catch. Okay, so come on, boss is the guy, like, the guy saying come on, boss is the guy who's dying, so... Right. This is... Whoever he's speaking to is probably above him in the echelons, but... Yeah. It's hard to know what that means, yeah. for sure. 
my I'm wanting to to guess that it, that means that this is like this person's role is something's mate, but that, that it's not guaranteed. But it's it's, it's what I'd like to be true. Not guaranteed, given that most of the boat is under several folks. Yeah, there's a whole hierarchy. Of, yeah, there are a lot of people that you could call boss. That is true. That person looks distinctive. And new as well. I don't yeah. know if we've encountered you yet. Looks a little like Odo from Star Trek. From DS9. I'm not familiar enough with DS9, but we can call you Odo for now. You can be it's Odo. not a lot like Odo, just a little. Which uh, is ironic, because Odo is a shapeshifter, and so you, it's hard to say what really looks like him. We really... Uh, we've got enough to deal with without shapeshifters on this boat. <laughs> Please. You're already hard enough to well, identify. No, it's okay. Every... Every standard time unit, he has to turn into oatmeal, and then we know what he looks like, because he looks like oatmeal. What? <laughs> Odo! Are, like it's Oto? Like is what, is Odo. Oh, okay. It's like you've never seen Deanna Troy's mother get caught in an elevator with Odo for long enough that she had to turn her dress into a bucket for him. I can't tell if you're <laughs> joking or not. I am not at all joking, but it's not at all relevant to the game. I'm sorry for confusing you. We can move on. Boy, Star Trek is wild, huh? <laughs> Yuck. Is that a third one? I'm, is... I am I want to say these are the two, but heck, maybe there are three. Okay, we're, yeah, we're before the, the death of the fire one. Yes, I think so. so. I think, yeah, I think these are the two, and they're just coming down below decks now. Well, like what I rad said, designs, you, though. Where you have two, I bet you've got more. Super the, creepy, but holy cow, that's cool. I had initially thought that they were one creature, but it's looking like it's a rider and a mount. I think you're right, yeah. Like, I had thought that they were one creature as well, but it, you're you're right. This totally does look like uh, the crab is just a mount for whatever these weird, like, monsters are. Seaweed ghillie suit dudes. Yeah, it's really cool. I uh, really don't like it. And here's somebody already... No, two somebody's already... Oh, Nick oh, is whoa. already dead, and someone's hiding. Gotcha. So, yep, Nick yep, yep. is probably the one of the bodies up here. Oh, yeah, here's another one. Uh, dead from one of their spears. Probably the spear of the first one, because uh, the one who's down below decks already, because... It's not holding a spear anymore. Not holding a spear. And our buddy above decks does have a spear. Right? Yes, yeah. Sorry, I was... <laughs> so much to take in. Okay, Yeah. Uh, but I think you're right. Like, one of these two is Nick. So let's uh, see what else we can learn. This one just keeps on going. Mm-hmm. It's weird, Keep even though going. we'd already had a Kraken introduced to the story, I really didn't see crab riders coming. <laughs> <laughs> this was a twist for episode four. I did in no way expect. And right? I assume I'm not the only one in this boat who feels that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe Nick and maybe not Nick. Who's to say? Us. It's our job. <laughs> All right. The Foley work on this is deeply unpleasant. <laughs> True. Wow. Yeah. Crab throw. I'm not sure we can tell which one is Nick. No, I don't think so. At least not yet. This like, one's... I'm going to guess. Like, I'm not going to actually write it down guess, but I'm going to... My guess is this one's Nick. Okay. Uh, but who knows? Definitely speared by Crab. Yes. And that one... What were they heaving? Um, I wonder. Follow the rope. Oh, good idea. Do, 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 do. I don't uh, know. Yeah, I don't know either. I wonder if one of the crabbies got hungry and went in to eat the goat, and that's why the goat cage is, is like, bent open from the outside. Oh, I wonder. Yeah. Something, like, broke the bars and bent them out. What are you pointing at? Oh, that, obviously. Yeah. Or maybe the goat does turn into a tiger, and it bent its own bars out, and... Maybe it is a goat tiger. If we can have crab riders, we can have goat tigers. That's true. 
I feel like that's reasonable and fair. All right, so you died from spear. Speared by... Enemy? That's a good point, yeah. Do we call it enemy or beast? Because this just feels they like enemy. They called it enemy on board. In the dialogue. Let's call it enemy. And let's backtrack and call these other ones enemy as well. Only if it's the rider doing the killing. If it's the beast doing the killing, that's different. I guess it is. I think both will work. Hey, they probably will, yeah. It's... Yeah. If you'd rather say speared by terrible beast we can but it's a, a harpoon thrown by the baddie yeah no, th this one's definitely a uh, writer well i guess if we run into a chapter where people are calling like where we have a different ship like pirates or something like that right like, that seems like enemy seems nice and generic enough to fit that this i could see going either way and the, and the game probably if will agree you, if you pull up the dialogue uh Oh. Bloody devil in this case, but one of the other ones, a uh, demon. Yeah, a demon uh, beat to quarters enemy aboard. That's why I said enemy, was uh, because gotcha. they called it an enemy. Yeah, let's call it enemy. Uh, but was he spiked by the terrible beast, or was he harpooned by the enemy? Riding the terrible beast. I want to say the enemy still in this case, because the enemy is also like throwing the spikes. I think it's like the crab spikes or whatever. Okay. Uh and assuming, that may be wrong, but uh, assuming, uh, spiked by a terrible beast, though. Because, yeah, the, the Kraken didn't have spikes. And it autofills by terrible beast if you say spiked. So, okay. Yeah. Eh, whatever. The beast does have spikes. The spikes from the beast do kill people. The spikes are not thrown directly by the rider. The rider uses a harpoon. The beast uses its spikes and its legs. It looked to me like the uh, riders were also throwing, like, involved. Like, there was their uh, ghillie suit sort of stuff is like has, like, a whoosh look to it as if they were Is flinging. that a whoosh look of them throwing something with their human arms? Or is that the movement of their ghillie suit when the creature's spikes it's fly very, away? That's pretty impossible to say. But, uh... I'm kind of leaning towards it's the the spikes the creature is shooting out. It's hard to say, but we'll we'll maybe because you can see the ghillie suit dude's arm. Yeah, yeah. You can see their arms moving. That's true. Um. All right. So this next one will Is almost certainly be, be you. That one, yeah. Yeah. I would wager. <sighs> yes. Okay. The freeze frame of them in the air has a very, like, yep, that's me. Bet you're wondering how I got here. <laughs> it does. What do we call this death? It's like flung. Yeah, I want to see how it plays out. I'm guessing it's the landing here that, like, it's kills sure. them. Sure, yeah. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. let's see. I don't know if... This one really may be a broken neck. Yee! Oh! There's your electric That's sound. Not what I expected at all. Uh <laughs> That's not even remotely what I expected. Um This feels oh and and then here here comes the uh crawling crab up on riders sides, as well. Yeah. Didn't expect this to start with lightning though. Does our friend get struck by lightning nice. and fall. Is that what we're seeing? I guess that is what we're seeing. Not what I um, predicted. I thought they were being flung by the... I thought that too. Why would the lightning strike a human instead of the mast? Just out of curiosity. Comments if you have any thoughts. Like, I know it's mostly wooden mast and rigging stuff, but it seems weird that it would strike a human. I don't know. I would think wood would be more conductive. I, I don't know. I am curious. Explain to me. Did sailors often die of lightning strikes? Yeah, I wonder. All right. Part one. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> uh. All right. E How did they die? Electrocuted. Uh. That's unless, my suspicion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless there's a struck button. No. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Wait. 
look back in the struck. Hooves, tail, wing. There's lots of um, options that are thing... in here that are like, I'm really interested to see, like, how does that come into play? So far, the only winged creature we have witnessed on this boat was a chicken. Oh, man, we could have said clawed. And we might still go back and say, like, decapitated was true, but it's also clawed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, this one is is electrocuted. Yeah, I believe so. Uh, and there's someone who would be up. There so are, this is an opportunity for. This is a topman. What? The deduction rating. Wow, Ooh. this new stuff we're learning here. A higher rating means that it will be more difficult <gasps> to deduce this person's identity. I see. All right, that's useful. Interesting. Focus on the easily deduced identities first. Leave the more difficult ones for later. Okay. Yes. There's cool. I still want to dig in here because um so so this is another thing y'all pointed out that I uh that I didn't know before is that we can we this may not is know what who, I was trying to tell you about. Okay. We may not know exactly who the person is, but we can say we're pretty sure they are an, an officer. officer. So we could say it's an unknown officer. We know that much. Right. Uh so I guess if we go further down. Okay, so this so, is what the unknown is. Unknown yeah. passenger. In the earlier episodes, we thought that represented stowaways or people yeah. who weren't on the original manifest. Not true. That's just a categorization. I don't know why the number skips from 17 to 20 all of a sudden, but uh, um, that is troubling. But maybe. I'm not going to guarantee it, but maybe. See, I'd wager we don't count so good. Maybe. Maybe. I, I, I would wager unknown topman for this one, though, since yeah. they're up in the... I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go with that. All right. I feel good about that. And that's a... Bow. Um, okay, we've opened up a new door. So fun. But uh, let's see what else we can see from up top here. Oh, there's the door. Could you real quick remind me... Um, which chapter this is? This is chapter six, which comes right before the, uh, right before the Squactopus? Uh, Squactopus arrives. Okay. So we have the illness from the cold, and then we have something, right? There's a chapter that we don't know about. There's a, a couple there's chapters several, oh yeah, we don't know about. There's several, in fact. So Could like, here's our chapter the... names. we got loose cargo, which we've not investigated yet. Bitter cold, which was the uh, f ones where folks were like dying from disease and the cow. Yep. Uh, we don't know about murder, the calling, Though... or unholy captives. We're down to soldiers of the sea now. The doom is is the squactopus. Bargain is the hidden chapter we can't know about yet. Escape is uh, the, the mutiny and the people trying to get in the lifeboat. Mm -hmm. The end is what we saw first with the captain fight fending off uh, the remainder and then killing himself. Yes. Gotcha, gotcha. So there's a lot we don't know between sickness and cold and, and whatever's happening here with the murder we see the artist's rendition of the shooting execution of someone that's my guess it, yeah my that, guess is that that looks like that's probably involved in the murder that would be my suspicion i i would i would guess that yeah whatever the murder is is going to lead to that uh, execution on deck and the artist's death is what kicks off the doom, yes. right? So there's apparently at least a little bit of a gap between these yeah. two. Although this does look like the start of a storm. Right. Uh, so it, maybe it wasn't that far apart. But or maybe we, it's a say. different storm. Yeah, it could entirely it be. It might be that this ship at sea has had more than one storm. You know, this is actually going to be very... We can tell that oh. very easily. How yeah. far is one from the next? So we're right up near the word canary on this one. And if we Look at you being over, all smart here and clever just a little further so okay and a little further specifically north yes which is not where we're going at all that's true we are not on course all right what we else are, can we hmm. see here so we've got what are they our doing? two okay. folks climbing our two attackers climbing up so okay so everyone was down here they weren't like throwing putting a thing ah, overboard they were like heaving. managing like rigging and trying to get like all this stuff Trying to get the sails? Yeah, I'm guessing trying to like close the sails because storm coming. Oh, is my yeah, guess. that might be. Uh, what's this person doing? These people, I guess we can also assume are all uh, topmen as well because they're up here. 
I believe so. Oh, look, it's Tattoos Make Torn Apart. Quite right. Let's, um... You're a Frenchman and a Topman. I was kind of hoping, uh, there we go. You are, so let's say for you, Unknown Topman. Uh... Can we check the Topman to see if there's only one Frenchman? Let's do. That's a great idea. Uh, yes. Crew. All right. Topman, Topman, top, 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 Here we go. Uh, Persian, Persian Scotland, Scottish, China, Chinese, China, China, like China. lots of Chinese uh, Topman. China, uh, England, England, New Guinea. New Guinea England, Russia. There's not a single French Topman, so that might oh, no. be a problem. Um, so they Maybe we're wrong. Might be wrong. Yeah, maybe How making many... guesses about the Topman okay, thing is not Sierra a good idea. Sierra Leone was a French colony. Oh, okay. But um, that's a... Seaman, though. I know. I'm mm. looking for France at all now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, so, that's a good good question. Let's, uh, I don't know if we ch counted to I see how many Sierra French folk Leone there was were. was a French colony. There is one. France? The bosun's, the bosun's mate. Is, and that's the only French person. It seems like, yeah. That would make Tattoos McTorn apart Charles Minor. But bosun's mate is a higher up position than I would have thought he had. <sighs> It's real hard to, uh, maybe the person who, hmm? may, ooh, okay, I think I know, yeah, what's going on here. I think tattoos is Charles Minor, mm -hmm. uh, and the guy whose arm was torn off is Alfred Clestill. You think he's the bosun? Because you looked up in between episodes, what, what language is the, uh, uh yes. Was yes! that a swear he said from? Verdant and it's is German. German. Uh, so, like... And where's your Frenchman? Uh, yeah, and he says, where's my Frenchman? The bosun's mate. So... Yep, I think you're right. So I'm guessing... Uh, I am I am happy to go ahead with I that. I feel silly now, like, why did people in Austria speak German? Yes! <laughs> I assumed yes, but I was just like, wait, I, I, that <laughs> I think that's right, but that's the sort of thing that I would assume and then be very wrong about. So I'm going to say... He's that not the only Austrian on board. But no, but uh, that's fine. I'm we gonna go ahead and yeah, be. called shot on this. That that is uh, tattoos. Charles, probably doesn't apart. pronounce it Charles. Maybe it does. I don't know. Which means the other Charlie is our cow uh, yeah, vomiter. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you're right. Let's start just filling some things in. So and pretending we know what we're doing. There's this type of puzzle that I I don't know if it's the official name or whatever, but it's like a matrix lo logic puzzle, and I love doing them. Um, y you get like different sets of facts and you have to try and solve this puzzle from those specific facts. And I just, I love them. They're full of this kind of inductive reasoning and it's great. I hope we're right. Uh, this would be, uh, that's not. Yes. yes. What, the squid, okay, where's my yes. Frenchman squid going? Okay. Uh, they even called him your mate. Your mate was torn apart. Yep. So, uh, and I and thought of it like friend, and but verdumped. Uh, and yeah. Okay. Yep. So my guess is Alfred Clestiel. Yes. Was torn apart by a terrible beast. That is my guess. And tattoos make torn apart. And that one, I, that one, I do, I've uh, filled in already. But let's oh, spot did? it in the. Uh, uh, if you filled that one in already. Then we just need one more. And we should go to Lars, the person Lars, Lars's death. We should go to Lars's death and guess at which brother killed him. Uh, that would be at the start of this. Here we go. So Club this will be attacker. a third, a third fate completed if we get it right. If we get it wrong, we try the other brother. Okay. So I think it was Nathan and Samuel. I can't remember their last name. Uh, I believe Peters was the... Uh, yeah, think, it's yeah. Peters. Nathan Peters or... Samuel Peters. Uh, Samuel Peters. So let's... Do we want to go further to when we can like actually feel like we have... Uh, Do you not want to use guessing? I kind of like... It does feel a little bit cheating to just start like put, put an, um, a name in and see if the game... Like okay. if we don't actually know which one it is. Yeah. We we may end up resorting resort to that to later. That, but uh but... right now we've got like uh yeah. Okay. That's fair. Uh 
it's slightly using the game's mechanics instead of just the inductive reasoning yeah. of the story. So I can hold off. Let's see. I still want to mark a lot of these folks as top men still, even though, like, we may be wrong. There's, uh, there's Knife Guy. Oh, yeah, there's Knife Guy. Uh... I really do think Knife Guy's a top man, too. I th yeah, it really feels like. And I think we've already labeled you as such. Wait, come on. Uh... Mm, not yet, but Let's do. Let's do. Uh, there we go. That's, yeah, I think I'm just going to do the same for all the rest of you. Sure. You were shot later. Unknown Topman. Can I just... Okay, yeah, this is faster. I almost wish there was a Sudoku-style pencil in versus write-in pen, but that's kind of... That would be nice, wouldn't it? That's kind of what the handwritten versus typed text is. It is kind of, yeah. Um... It'd be nice to be able to rank the confidence of my guesses in these answers. Yeah, I, I agree, because, I mean, we can Without, try to remember it, but it's hard. Right. Uh, there's you as well. We'll say Topman for now. Uncomfortably clinging to the rail. Yeah. I do not like that position you are in. It looks very dangerous. That it does. But okay. Uh... I think that's all of them. I want to go all the way up. Uh, right how far up will they let top. us go? I'm assuming not. Climb further. No, can't climb further. Why can't we climb? Alas. Did I get you? I did. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. And they are heaving. They are yep. helping to You've got the... heave with that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like they're handling the sailcloth. And then there's you, but you're... Probably not long for this world, honestly. Yeah. All right. Uh... Let's head out. Um, the one with the lantern might be the, the next person to die. I can't remember. Looks like we're going to be heading somewhere else on the boat to get our next one. So let's go ahead and call it for now. Uh, folks, we will see you on Wednesday for more of the return of the Oberdin and such. Yeah. Do take care and goodbye. Goodbye.